Hello again, Conius here. Today I'm flying from the Santa Barbara Airport to the Oxnard, or California Airport. Um, still flying my Cessna 172 Skyhawk with the G1000 glass cockpit. I was having some strange electrical problems and I traced it to sitting on the tarmac with the engine idling too, uh, too slow and the battery was draining down on the avionics which shutting off, were shutting off. So. I think I have that solved. We're going to have a flight level of 31,000 feet, or 3,100 feet. Generic flight, Tango Risky cleared to land runway 7. And so, uh, we should have takeoff clearance already. I've been sitting out here for a long time. Cleared so to land runway 7, generic flight, Tango Risky. That's the runway I'm on. I should probably get out of here. So, let's go. smooth takeoff. Try to gain some altitude. I will turn over navigation to the autopilot once I get high enough. KH223, continue for east departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Santa Barbara Tower KH223, continue for east departure. So at the moment we're sacrificing altitude for speed. I'd like to get up into the 70s speed-wise at least. Okay, so I think we're high enough altitude-wise to engage the autopilot. However, I'd like to level off and gain some speed first. So the next thing is, I would like to go up to 3,100 feet, so let's turn flight level change on, and let's speed this up a little bit. Fields and gas. I'm going to go outside and take a look while we take our climb. Beautiful clear day on the coast of Southern California. Got an Xbox controller now, so I can do this a little bit more smoothly. Beautiful shot. I might want to slow down the Need a little bit on the controls. Generic flight, Tango Risky, turn next pass away. One thing I learned with the Xbox controller is you have to be careful touching any of the hey, buttons. Two, two, three, you are leaving my airspace. Unless you're in drone mode because they're in a Santa Barbara Tower KH223 frequency change. Los Angeles Center KH223 is Slow type down. Cessna Skyhawk 5 miles southeast of Santa Barbara at 2,400 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Skyhawk 
visited Santa Barbara a couple times, it's really beautiful, architecture looks inspired by Spanish missions. Uh, nice long pier with a bunch of stuff going on on it. Alright, we're leveling off and start to speed up, so let me back off on the speed a little bit. So I've got a 2080 Ti with uh, all the graphics settings dialed all the way up, traffic settings, airport personnel settings, vehicle settings, all dialed all the way up. And um, I'm overclocking the 2080 Ti to be working out really well. I've been able to fly using Ultra in 4K, uh, the frame rate starts to go down, averages of about 30, looks really nice in 4K, if I can I'll start recording in 4K. Nice to look out the windows. Feels like you're in a real airplane. Altimeter 29 or decimal 87. 
Fun listening to all the ATC traffic. Copy KH223. I feel like changing my co-pilot so the voice is different, maybe female voice. Um, it'd be nice if it was randomized or something. Nice steady flight, the wind seems clear or steady. Just a beautiful day to be out flying. So shortly I will begin my descent from 3100 feet to 2100 feet. I'm going to go outside and fly the drone around a little bit. set up for the flight level change now. So we're holding at 3100. Set a new target of 2100, which should just be one click. Okay. So if I let off the gas, that should start us going. Beautifully high spring rate. I suppose it could be a lot higher, but it's good enough for me. Again, it was about half that on average or less at 4K, which is pretty impressive. I may have dialed some of the graphics that it's like. I don't think it was everything maxed out. And of course it runs just fine on high, but I don't, I don't remember the frame rate.
I wasn't really sure how, how fast to fly this airplane, but then I observed a co-pilot flying at times, and 95 seems to be an okay speed. I get warnings about going over 74, so maybe that's when you're over certain land areas. Also, I turned off those warnings. Soon the uh, landing pattern guide on screen should show up. Um, in preparation for that, I hope to slow down. It's going to be over towards the right, if I remember correctly. And it's probably going to show up really quickly to surprise us, so I'm just going to slow it a little bit. Plane's controlling the pitch, so it'll take care of keeping us level and steady. Oxnard Tower KH223 is 1-1 one, one miles northwest with Oscar to land. KH223 Oxnard Tower. Make straight in runway 7. Altimeter 29 or decimal 87 with 182.5. Make straight in runway 7 KH223. There we go. Fighting the autopilot, so let me go and disengage that. And we're we'll getting into the pattern. I've had trouble in the past slowing down while trying to land, and I've noticed a couple of things. Um, on some planes you can set the flaps to different levels, and so you don't necessarily have to have them all the way down to land, but you can put them down further to get more drag. Uh, and then another thing I saw the co-pilot do was to do a little bit of zigzagging turning while in the pattern, and that will burn off some of that acceleration, or some of that velocity also. So I will try that, try those techniques in the future. At some point I'm going to stop going outside and fly entirely from inside, but it feels a little scary. I just don't feel like I have enough information about what the plane's doing. That's a deviating off course warning, that chime. Uh, but it occurs to me that I ought to go actually read the Garmin G1000 manual. I should read the manual for the Skyhawk and actually learn about it if I'm going to be flying them, you know, simulated. Alright, so I feel good about the speed. Getting down towards the 60s, that's good. It's going to want us to go below 60 probably to land. So I'm going to go ahead and turn, and then I will put the flaps down part way. Just brought the flaps down to the first D10. 
tent. It'll slow us down, and then I'll I'll use more flaps if I feel like it's necessary, but not necessarily just put them all the way down. All right, I'd like to get this a little bit more stable. I'm slow down a little bit more. So I'm going to go one more level on the flaps. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting some slowing. Alright, well this feels comfortable. The wind is especially calm, so that's helping. Uh, I'm debating whether or not to try to fly or try to land from inside the cockpit or not. I usually land outside so I can see what's happening. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I actually did an, an in-cockpit in -cockpit landing earlier, and it was successful, but it's very bumpy. Uh, this is my first try. And again, it was difficult for me to really judge exactly when the wheels were going to hit. I think the solution for that is to make it so that that doesn't matter. Clear to land runway 7. Wind 1A3 at 6. Clear to land runway 7KH223. So I think if you're floating in gently enough at a shallow enough angle, the, <coughs> the wheels will hit when they hit, but you don't have to actually worry about it as long as you're above ground at level. That's my feeling, so I'm going to maybe give that a shot. Feels like we're going super slow, but you know, this is freeway speeds or something. Yeah, it's gonna want us to be, you know, in the 50s to land, which makes sense. We're gonna want to be in the 40s when we hit the, hit the uh, tarmac. up a little bit, get rid of some of that speed. Usually by now I've spent most of the time outside uh, while landing, so this is the longest I've, I think I've done this from in the cockpit. My goal is to learn flying, you know, at least simulated flying, but I'd like to keep it as realistic as possible. So at some point I want to use outside for, you know, visuals, but not for flying. I feel like we're just a little on the low side. Might be okay, but... Um, I don't know if it complains if you're below the landing pattern or not. Maybe if you're, as long as you're not hitting the ground, you're fine. But we do have a ways to go, and we are kind of in the low 50s here. I'm wondering if I want to extend the flaps all the way down for the landing, but this seems gentle and shallow enough and slow enough, so maybe I don't need to do that. I'm also thinking that the yellow pointer on the Garmin probably needs to be at the white horizon line when I'm thinking I'm about to land. That's my theory. Now you can see the landing strip on the Garmin. I don't know if the real one would have that much detail. Obviously the game can render, you know, full detail there. Um, but if it does, that would be actually very handy. Alright, I am going to extend the flaps all the way down. So we're good down to 40 knots. Uh, I don't want to drop altitude too much at the last minute here. Yeah, it's 
just hard to know how to judge this, but I feel like this is I feel like this is going okay. Okay, I feel like it's oh no, too early to draw power. Let's uh, actually get to the actual runway. Oh no, we have already landed. Alright, well it sounded bumpy. Going to one two one decimal niner KH two two three. It's better than the last time, so that'll just take some practice. I don't feel bad about that. So let's taxi to the parking. As soon as I get off the runway, I'll contact ATC. Probably right here. Alright, we'll stop right here. Put on the parking brake. Oxnard ground, KH223 request taxi to parking. KH223 taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway alpha. Right. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway alpha KH223. Now there was that warning that came on a moment ago about the standby battery and so what I'm noticing is when I'm idling at the bottom uh, it's just not generating enough power to keep things going so I just have to remember to not drop it all the way down or there's some setting here I'm not aware of but I've played with the settings doesn't seem to make much difference I looked up magneto settings and I think you always want both so anyway let's uh let's head to parking again usually i'm taxiing from outside too so this is sort of a new experience feels comfortable though I think with a few more landings, I'll be able to get that nailed and smooth. Okay, I'm obviously going too fast. So the new pedal settings are working. I think I'm going to um, increase the sensitivity just a little bit as now I'm kind of getting used to using them. I'm feeling like I have to Sometimes push them a little bit too much. Ooh, going way too fast. Slow down, slow down. Alright. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go outside and see if I can get in the right place. The right place. Use the left brake to help pivot. I figured out how to turn things, turn the engine off from the inside, which was magnetos to off. That stops the spark, and then turn everything off, and that's it.